Okay, today I'm going to do a demo on our new product Solidify, Fly Ash Solidify, which was its main purpose. This is a sample from a quarry of fly ash that was sent in to us, which they typically stabilize with cementitious and cement materials to compact it, to move it from site to site for environmental purposes. I'm going to put our product Solidify, this is a very small amount, into this. And we're going to mix it in, just like they would till it in on a job site, prior to moving it. And the whole purpose of this is just to solidify the material so it can be moved without uh, any environmental impact from one site to the other and with somewhat uh, of speed because the speed in which cementitious materials take to solidify this fly ash type material is uh, from anywhere from one day 24 hours to sometimes four or five days depending on the moisture content. Uh, this one is approximately uh, 20 8% moisture added to what was already a liquefied fly ash and you can see it's been only 30 seconds or so and it's already solidified and what will happen over the next day or so uh, we'll end up with a product that looks like this or this which are basically completely solidified and actually it to a packable compaction surface so that it can be moved, it can be compacted in layers and top filled, whatever the environmental people suggest they have to do with it. So it's completely solidified. Yeah, you can make it, you can make the surface sort of uh, sandy if you really push at it and get more out. But that's where really what it comes out like. And that's a little bit of stone, a little bit of everything, and it will compact into a ball. Okay, so to show you how powerful this is, because uh, you can't really see it uh, in this particular sample, okay, but you can see that it's getting harder and harder, it's getting more packed. So we're going to do it with real water, pure 100% water with the same amount in it, and I'm just going to stir it up, the similar that we did with the fly ash material. And you'll see how uh, impressive this uh, takes the liquid portions and uh, solidifies even the water into a, a complete gel from top to bottom. We're just going to let that sit there for a few minutes while it solidifies up because it takes a little bit longer with water. This is starting to go gel-like. Uh, we'll do a percentage of how many times the actual solidify material is to water, but you can see clearly that's going completely gel-like, so you can pick it up. And it will just get more and more gel-like as time goes by. It'll just get better and better. So if we can do that to pure water, we know we can solidify fly ash and many other things that are problematic in the industry right now. Uh, and uh, do it efficiently and uh, fairly inexpensively and for small amounts of completely post uh, use recycled material so this is probably one of the most important things about this product is that it's uh, already uh, completely recyclable material that uh, we're using there's no uh, new fresh material in this it's 100 percent recycled material and that's pure water now into a form of a gel. So this is this is solidified fly ash that we just demoed. And we just poured water in the top of it, probably 10% more water. And it won't go through it, it won't go in it, it won't re-emulsify it. It's just pure water on the top. So if it rains, it will just shed the water off. It won't go soft like cementitious materials will make fly ash or any other waste material go soft when it rains. This will not happen. It'll, it'll shed off and go to drainage ditches or whatever, whatever else is over there. But that's, that's not going anywhere. That's all pure water. You can see on my finger there's nothing else on it.
except water.